Hey guys, today I have some journals that I've created using My Mind's Eye with Love Collection. These will be available on my Etsy today. Um, the link will be below. It's just under Marla Rizzo. And there'll be pictures and stuff on my Instagram as well. So I created these, um, what do you call it? They're kind of like traveler's notebooks. They're six by four. I was inspired by Shara, Shara Crane, and also Rhoda, who's Nifty Crafty Me. She had made me one. Um, so let's get started. They're super pretty. They're in all my favorite colors. I love how they came out. Kind of took me forever because they're all sewn together and everything. Um, so let's start with this one. <clears throat> So they all come with a ribbon tied around uh, tied around it. And then I have this metal clip. Let me turn down the brightness a little bit. And I use the crepe paper tassel here with some charm, uh, bow charm, and then a bead that I put on there. And I use tons and tons of lace and trims. Some are vintage, some are regular. <clears throat> so the collection came with stickers and ephemera, and then the paper, of course. Um, so this is one of the ephemera tags that I added a little baker swine bow and then stitched on the XO from the collection with some... Uh, lace scraps behind it and a doily <clears throat> and then over here I have some lace layered and then um, pom-pom trim and then this blue trim the book was created uh, using two sheets of paper that I sewed together and then I use baker swine to sew the journal completely together <clears throat> And then here is, so each one will have an acetate pocket and then with a zipper. This is the other side, so I just made a little like flip. And then here I have a heart uh, paper clip with a tag that I made from the collection. It's just a cutout from the collection and then I sewed this piece of ephemera on there with some baker's twine. So there's reds and blues and greens. There's tons of colors in this um, collection, which I really, really love pom-pom trim each page will have trim here I use an acetate from the collection I'm just gonna go kind of quicker and then some beautiful trims here I love how you can see the back of that and then this, this is one of my favorites so here I made a, a tag that's stitched and I just added um, oh also I use doodle bug um, one of their Valentine uh, kind of Valentine sweet collections this is from that and I just made a little tuck spot. This is some paper I had. Um, I'm not sure who makes it but it's so pretty and this is one of the sides of it. And then here I made this little tag. Um, kind of like a tag. I love you. And then this vintage lace sewn on that I ruffled. I think this is this is the back of that paper I believe. And then I just added a doily. And here I just clipped on this doodle bug um, ephemera if you want to glue it or whatever you like to do. Some more pretty lace. Over here I just added that from the collection. Each journal will have um, a like a little trim tassel and this is this one and this is a sewn embellishment I made here. And then underneath is some ruffle trim I got from Nifty Crafty Me. It's flat and I just sewed it so it would be ruffled. This trim over here I really love. Here I made um, <clears throat> an embellishment using regular um, pearlized like shimmer cardstock that I had and then paper from the collection and then one of the ephemera and then a little bow because I love bows. And then this trim here, this is a little uh, doodle bug frame and you can stick in ephemera or photo in there. And then this I made out of the stickers you get with the collection and I just put them together to make the word love and stitched it. So I picked up this cute notebook and each page has this cat and I just thought it went really well so I stuck that in each of them. 
And then this is a journaling card. Each one will get one of these. I'm not sure the collection, but again, it goes. Here's my little zipper pouch. I'm so excited about this. So it's made of acetate and I just sewed it together and added some uh, paper clips in there for you and then there's a, each one has a shaped one and then maybe six other ones, three, four, five, five other ones. And then here's the back. This is vintage lace, it's super soft. And then I have this trim from Ali Express. And there's the back of that. That's how it looks. So this is the first one. <clears throat> then there's this one. I love this one. I just love mints and pinks together. So this part of it is a boutique charm I got from my friend Pam. She has an Etsy. Um, and then this charm right here. And again, the crepe pap paper tassel. And you can take it off if you like. And then it has this green ribbon. So with this one, I made this embellishment out of some ephemera from the collection and acetate. And then I stitched it together and then used, um, I have a bunch of this actually right here. I think it's a curtain and I love it because it's super soft and I just kind of like, you know, glued it behind there and left a little fold over. I like how that looks. Some double layered lace here, a doily, this beautiful um, sheet from the collection. And then here I have some trims and pom-poms. These journals are really fun. I really, really love them, how they came out. This I really love too. This is just an embellishment I made. And then another tag, some baker's twine, and then the sheet of paper and the journaling card like the other one, some pretty trims. Here I sewed around this bird that was super hard to do, <laughs> but I like how he came out. And then I put some trim over here, some uh, doodlebug banner trim. Again, the love um, that I made, heart trim. Here I have a puffy heart, an embellishment, piece of a doily, and the other side will have the other one. Another bird that I stitch. Some pom-poms and vintage lace that's super soft that I ruffled. Over here, I just put Sweetheart. Here you have two little frames with stars. Um, a little bow, this cute trim. This came in the Joann's, uh, or was it Michael's, where we got all the, got like two yards each um, on a big tassel. And this cute little gingham bow, I love it. This, I made like a little flap and this cute heart that I stitched together. Here's the trim bundle, trim tassel with the Hobby Lobby trim here. And this is again the doodlebug <clears throat> hearts and then some banner pieces and hearts that I put together. And then you can um, have a little tuck spot over here, I made a little clip. And here's a little acetate pouch. Love it. And the back has this um, eyelet trim that's vintage. So there's that one. Now I have the last one. This one has um, the pink and then the, the flower bead flower charm in this, the green ribbon. This one I made a stitched embellishment for the front with the doily, they all have the doily, and then this beautiful trim that I layered. And then again, the little acetate flip with the journaling card and the little kitty paper, some trim I ruffled, lots of sewing. Here's my uh, kind of belly band I made and then the tag that I created for this one. This really pretty heart trim. I'm not sure where I got that. This trim I got from Allie. It was really hard to um, stitch but I, I got it right. And some lace behind it. 
Love this paper. Here I have a doodle bug um, ephemera. I thought it went really good with this. This one has, I think, the most doodle bug um, pieces. And then a bow over here. Here I have the frame. And then the doily. This is um, doodle bug. It's so cute. And then you have a little whisk, little tuck spot, and then a little um, rolling pin heart trim, the macaroons, here's a little trim tassel, this um, tag is just glued on, I think I, did I make this a tuck spot, let me see, can't remember, yes, so this will be a tuck spot, probably, I'll just leave this in there so people know. And then that image there. And then the love over here. So they each have the love thing that I made. This is just a heart paper clip I put on here. This is pretty heart trim. Doodle bug image. That's just, uh, I think that's a thing too. Hang on. Yeah, this is um, a little tuck spot as well. So we'll leave that in there. And then I have the acetate pouch and this beautiful beautiful trim and then this trim on the back so let me know what you guys think and check out my Etsy store they're gonna be at a great price um, I just love making these so I want to be able to sell them to have enough money to make buy more paper basically that's it all right well thanks for watching bye